Friday, December 20th, 2019. I would like to share with you what I believe my mom was shown in the sky by our Creator, Father God Almighty, with an eternal purpose, and the interpretation in which I believe is from God Almighty. On Thursday, December 19th, 2019, my mom was shown in the sky baby birds dead in the bird's nest in a tree. I believe this to be symbolic of the Christians who will be left behind, the foolish virgins, and those who thought they were automatically saved because of once saved, always saved, lie from Satan. Some have willingly walked away from Jesus. Some not fed correctly from their pastors, teachers, and preachers. Some were believing the false teachers, preachers, prophets. Some, they didn't have the correct or not enough sunlight. Jesus Christ, love and relationship, which goes both ways. They didn't have the correct or not enough water. The Holy Spirit, who's actually Jesus Christ as well. Some, not the correct or not enough fertilizer in soil. Saturated and grounded in the true word of God, which is Jesus Christ as well. These are the ones who are stuck in this world which is run by Satan, deceptions, delusions, the stage set, etc. The foolish virgins, they fall for Satan's lies. I pray right now for all of these baby birds in which, with whom Satan is deceiving and hurting right now and whom Satan is determined to take their soul. I claim these baby birds, these true, these true people, the hearts, the children of God Almighty. I claim them right now for the, Jesus Christ. That these baby birds these who are lost in the world and being deceived by Satan, I'm asking Jesus right now to pull them out of the deceptions of Satan, to pull them out of this world, to expose to them all truths, which include all the lies of the enemy, and most importantly, the truth of Jesus Christ, who truly is God Almighty, the great I Am, I ask you right now, Lord Jesus Christ, pull all of our loved ones out of the grasp of the enemy. Pull out of all of our loved ones out of this world in which we do not belong in. This world right here, it's not why we we're created. We were created to be with our loving Father God Almighty. To be with Him for all of eternity in his home. We all do have this golden opportunity right now, right before us. And for those who do not realize that it is time to go home now, who do not realize what has been going on, what is going on, and what's going to happen any day now, We intercede on their behalf and on our own. Because there really is no such thing as one saved, always saved. So we can't be arrogant and prideful and thinking that we're automatically in either. We need to make sure that we're loving Jesus. That he needs to be in our number one spot in our hearts. As well in the hearts of our loved ones. 
We need to make sure that we repent of all sins, which is to turn to Jesus Christ, ask Him for His help, so that we can turn away from all sin, physical and spiritual sin, in our minds and in our hearts. Let's do our share, you guys. Let's love one another, truly love one another. And that includes interceding on the behalf of other souls so that they will enter into the kingdom of God, so that they too, along with us, that we could all be joined together for all of eternity, living with God Almighty, our Creator, living with Jesus Christ, living with each other, the true brothers and sisters in Christ. Let's be true warriors in the mighty military of our God, the one and only true living God. Let's fight for those who are not able to. Let's fight for those who are weak. Let's fight for those who need our help. In the name of Jesus Christ, Let's be strong and victorious for the kingdom of God. For the kingdom of God is at hand. Love, forgive, repent. And we pray for our loved ones to all do this as well. And for all of God's loved ones to do this now. If you haven't yet, ask Jesus Christ into your heart as your Lord and Savior today. Repent of all sins, as I said before, with Jesus' help, to turn completely away from sin in our minds and in our hearts, okay? Forgive everyone, ask for forgiveness from everyone. If you're not able to, just go directly to Jesus. Make sure you forgive yourself, forgive Jesus and God if you have to as well. Let's walk in love on a daily basis. It doesn't have to look a certain way, feel a certain way, sound a certain way. Plain and simply, tug on God's heart on others' behalf and on your own as well. Let's not just think about ourselves and that we get to go home soon in the rapture of the true bride of Christ, but let's hope and pray that others will be joining us, even those we don't know, even those who we may think don't deserve it. Even those who have hurt us. We must help these baby birds so that they may not be eaten by the enemy so that their souls will not end up in the lake of fire. I'm sure you agree with me that if it was us in their position, we would certainly hope and pray and wish with all of our hearts and hope, desperately hope, that others would be interceding on our behalf. Everyone, please join me in tugging on God's heart for God to please forgive, save, and awaken all of our precious loved ones and us. And for God to have His beloved Son King Jesus Christ, take all of our loved ones, including all of our pets and other animals, along with us, to our real and eternal home heaven. At the imminent glorious rapture of the true bride of Christ, which will happen at literally any moment now. I hope to see you in the sky really soon. We fly home extremely soon. Love you.